Welcome back. Now, it was an unbelievable story that was splashed across national headlines. You may remember the couple who hired a well-known Tucson businessman to do some work at their home. The very innocent start to the story all ended with the business owner being convicted of attempted murder. The couple in the center of the nightmare, Karen and Miles Levine, along with Dan Baldwin, are here to today to talk about their new book that kind of unveils what really happened behind those headlines. You guys, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, Miles, we were talking earlier, I think a lot of people, not just in Tucson, not just in Arizona, but nationally, uh, remember your story. But can you kind of recount what had happened? Well, it was happened a couple times. Uh, we hired the man to refinish our driveway. And it was supposed to be a simple job that ended up taking months and never been done right. When he finally did get it correct, he spent a lot more money than he thought and everything else. So um, approximately a year after it was finished, um, Halloween evening 2008, he did about $20,000 worth of damage to our home. We then decided to move into another gated community and approximately a year after that, he put out chemical bombs in the front and back of our home. And uh, it was just because he wanted to get back at us for spending so much money not repairing our driveway. And that kind of comes with the uh, unbelievable part uh, of the story that it lasted such a long time. There's a move in and we're looking at, at a video right now. Who was the person that we're talking about? Uh, Todd Freeze from Burns Power Washing. And he was a, a well-known businessman uh, here in town, uh, and the conviction of attempted murder came because of that chemical bomb. And I think that's the part everybody remembers. The entire neighborhood uh, was evacuated. There was a huge uh, plume over your home. Uh, and your story, like I said, was across national headlines. This was a very huge story. And Karen, what made you guys decide to take this and now do a tell-all? Just wanted to get our story out. Could happen to you. <clears throat> or anyone. So we're glad we did it. And now we have like, we feel like we, we got them, you know. Yeah. yeah. And we finally, you know, put our story out. And Mr. Baldwin here wrote a great story. So we're very proud of the book. And I love that you, you want to use this a very scary situation as a, as a cautionary tale uh, for other people. And I'm sure a lot of people ask you that. What made you want to hire him or, you know, kind of details of, of the start of yeah, it one, all? They didn't hire me. Uh, we met through the reference of a friend of a friend of a friend. Yeah. And I came down to Tucson and interviewed them. And after about half an hour just chit-chatting with them, uh, as a writer, this is a story I had to tell. Yeah. So uh, the three of us are basically co-authors. And it's their story, I just did the writing. But it was a story that, that needed to be telling and I just felt like I was the one that needed to tell it. And so with this book uh, versus the, the, like I said, the national headlines, what, what will this book tell us beyond that? Well, it, it pretty much tells the whole story, but I think the, the reasoning behind it is that we wanted to get it out to everybody that no matter how much due diligence you do in hiring somebody to come and work at your house or work in your house, you'll never know what's going to happen from it. And again, he was very well known, uh, did a lot of big jobs in Tucson. I worked at the hospitals, the universities, everything else. And we thought we were safe, never thought anything about it. But it, could, it happened to us, it could happen to anybody because everybody's hiring contractors. And, I, and that's kind of what I was alluding to when people are asking, you know, what made you decide on this businessman? And you, like you're saying, did your due diligence. You did your, your check on, is this the right person to do it? In retrospect now, Karen, what do you think now, like you said, years have, have passed. You feel like you have that, you know, we got yeah, him. Yeah. yeah. What do you feel now today in 2017? I feel relieved that he is now in prison. So I don't really think about him coming after me. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I'm just glad that we can get our story out there. And I hope people understand why we wrote the book. Um, just, it's a very good book. And Dan, you know, did a really good job writing it. And he, um, he put his heart and soul in writing this book because he believed in the story. 
And you know, I hear uh, from a lot of people once they take a, a, a life, something that's happened in their life and put it kind of pen to paper, right. that it's kind of therapeutic. Did you guys kind of feel that same way? Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, we got our story out. It, it relieved some of the problems we were running through because it's basically 10 years of our lives. Yeah. It's a lot of time to be reminded of something all the time. And unless you bring it out, um, I don't think you'll ever get rid of it, but yeah. it does relieve a little bit of the tensions. Well, Dan, I'm sure they're very grateful uh, that you came in and, and kind of made this process. I'm going to remind everyone how they can get their hands on the book and, of course, read more about it uh, and that cautionary tale that you guys are trying to help everyone with. Thank you guys so much for coming and sitting down with us. Oh, thank, oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. The events that we just discussed are in this new book. It's called The Levine Project, Fighting Back Against a Campaign of Terror. And to order it right now, visit Trafford.com.